Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our breakout trading strategy in depth and how we use it in combination with price action. Breakout trading is used by active investors to take a position within a trend's early stages. Generally speaking, this strategy can be the starting point for major price moves, expansions in volatility, and, when managed properly, can offer limited downside risk. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. In today's video, we're going to talk about breakout trading strategy. We will cover some of the best trading tactics used to trade breakouts by professional traders. Breakout trading is one of our favorite entry types when trading the markets. This strategy has been responsible for some of my largest gains over the years. In this lesson, you will learn how to identify the setup, when to enter the market as well as how to identify possible targets. We will also take a look at several examples on both the 4-hour chart as well as the daily chart. I have found these two time frames to work best when trading this breakout strategy. What is a breakout? Before we get into my favorite breakout trading strategy, let's first define the term, breakout. A breakout is any price movement outside a defined support or resistance area. The breakout can occur at a horizontal level or a diagonal level, depending on the price action pattern. Let's take a look at two illustrations of one of the more common breakout patterns that occur in the forex and stocks market. The first illustration shows a bullish breakout pattern. Notice in this illustration, we have a market that is trending up but has found resistance at a horizontal level. After two unsuccessful attempts, the market finally breaks through resistance. This signals a bullish breakout from a key resistance level. The next illustration we're going to look at involves a bearish breakout. Just as you would expect, the bearish breakout is similar to a bullish breakout, only this time the market breaks to the downside. After two unsuccessful attempts, the market finally breaks through support. This signals a bearish breakout from a key support level. The reason these breakouts are such an important trading strategy is because they often represent the start of increased volatility. By waiting for a break of a key level, we can use this volatility in our favor by joining the new trend as it begins. The only breakout trading strategy you will ever need. This particular breakout trading strategy is one I have used for years. It has become my favorite pattern to trade, partly because of its reliability and partly because of the more than favorable risk to reward ratios it often produces. There are four parts to this breakout pattern. First, support. Second, resistance. Third, breakout. Fourth, retest. This illustration is very similar to the first two illustrations. The major difference here is that instead of having one trend line and one horizontal line, we have two trend lines. One trend line is acting as support, while the other is acting as resistance. This forms what's known as a wedge. The breakout to this pattern occurs when the market eventually breaks to one side or the other. While a wedge is typically a continuation pattern, I tend to trade it based on whichever way the market breaks. In other words, I let the market show its hand before making any considerations about future price movement. Now let's apply this same pattern to a USDJPY 4-hour chart. Notice how in this chart, the market had worked its way into a wedge pattern. As the market began to consolidate tighter, it eventually broke wedge support and subsequently retested this support level as new resistance. This retest presented traders with a perfect opportunity to enter short. Executing the breakout trading strategy. To get a good idea of the setup in action, let's take a look at each step including the entry strategy and where to place your stop loss. Entry. Most times your entry will come on a retest of former support or resistance. However, it's important to note that depending on how strong or weak the market is, you may not get a retest. We will discuss this in greater detail later in the lesson. For now just know that it's best practice to enter on a retest of former support or resistance, depending on which way the market breaks. Stop loss. Your stop loss should be placed above the swing high or below the swing low, at a minimum. 
In the case of the USDJPY breakout pattern, your stop loss should be placed above the swing high. Setting a target. Now that we know where to enter and where to place our stop loss, let's discuss how to set a target. As you may well know, I'm a huge fan of using simple price action levels. So you can probably guess how we'll go about setting a profit target. Placing a profit target is like a balancing act. You want to extract as much profit potential as possible, based on the tendencies of the market you are trading, but you can't get too greedy otherwise the price is unlikely to reach your target. So you don't want it too close or too far. In this case, the place that I look to take profit is at a previous level of support or resistance. Further analysis. Let's turn our attention to another example of the breakout trading strategy. This wedge pattern occurred on the GBPUSD 4-hour chart. One major difference here is that there was no retest of former support once the market broke to the downside. Notice in this GBPUSD chart, the market failed to retest former support before dropping more than 1,000 pips. But just because the market doesn't retest former support doesn't mean we have to miss the trade. The retest that we look for as part of this breakout strategy typically comes within the next few candles. So if the market begins to move sideways for more than three or four periods, there's a good chance that the market won't give a full retest. Let's take a closer look at the GBPUSD trade setup. Summary. We covered a lot of content in this lesson. Here are some of the highlights to keep in mind as you begin to implement this trading strategy into your game plan. 1. A breakout is any price movement outside a defined support or resistance area. 2. The breakout trading strategy has four parts. Support, resistance, breakout and retest. 3. The retest of former support or resistance provides a trader with an opportunity to enter the market. 4. If a market begins to move sideways for more than three or four periods following a breakout, there's a good chance that the market won't produce a retest of former support or resistance. 5. Your stop loss should always be placed above the swing high or below the swing low, at a minimum, depending on which way the market breaks. 6. There are multiple ways profits targets can be established. When you use a profit target you are estimating how far the price will move and assuring that your profit potential outweighs your risk. 7. As a general rule, the longer a market consolidates the more volatile the resulting breakout will be. Here are other examples of breakout trading strategy.
Are breakout strategies reliable? Just keep in mind that no two traders are alike, which means the best strategy is the one that works best for you. As long as you take the time to develop a trading edge and stay patient, breakout strategies like the one taught here can be reliable and incredibly profitable. Just remember that like any other trading strategy, this breakout strategy is not without flaw. Therefore always be sure to maintain a proper risk to reward ratio and use a favorable stop loss strategy on every trade. As always, if you learned something new or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.